stick around to see how we created this super fun black history inspired arts and craft project honoring the late great Chuck Berry and Sister Rosetta Tharp, who paved the way in rock and roll. Y'all better check them out, look them up, Google them, they're iconic. But for real guys, you do not want to miss this. Please stay tuned. Thanks for sticking around and here's what you're gonna need. Paint with a plate and sponges or a paintbrush, rubber bands, empty tissue box, a hot glue, scissors, and a paper towel roll, and don't forget the tacks. Okay, so first start by turning your box to the side and you're gonna take your paper towel roll or your wrapping paper roll and you're gonna trace around it. I decided to use a wrapping paper roll because I had one lying around after Christmas and thought, hey, why not? We wanted to make this a long neck guitar, so now cut that out just like this and then you're gonna flip it to the other side and do the same thing. Cut your circle out and now you should have circles on both ends. Now go ahead and cut the plastic off the front of the box so you can strum and add your rubber bands. And you can paint yours now, but I'm just gonna go ahead and assemble my guitar and paint it after it's assembled. So take your paper towel roll, or in my case, wrapping paper roll, and stick it all the way through to both ends. That way it's secure. Then I went ahead and cut my paper roll because I wanted to be able to strum my strings like this. Now, I realized I didn't really need to do that, but I'm actually glad I did because I had more room to strum and you'll see what I mean. But if you want, go ahead and cut yours as well. It doesn't have to be neat. Now, if you use a box this size, you might not even need to worry about cutting anything, but because our box is so narrow, we just cut it. She is so ready, y'all. Look at my baby, ready to play. So now that we've assembled it, we're gonna go ahead and paint it whatever color you want. And I'm gonna help her because that's a big guitar to paint for a three-year-old, you know. So I'm gonna help. And when you are done, you're gonna let it dry. Doesn't it look good? Teamwork is dream work. Be sure to go back and hot glue where you stuck the paper roll in so it doesn't move around and it's secure. So now it's time to decorate. So grab your decorations. We used some confetti, some hearts, and some feathers. And everything came from the Dollar Tree, except the confetti, which came from a previous video we did where I showed you guys some New Year's Eve crafts. Y'all might wanna go check that out and like this video if you love it, cause I know you do. And go ahead and subscribe to this channel so you can see every time I post. Now this part was all her. I just helped her with the glue. And now this part is optional. So y'all know the thing at the top of the guitar that tunes the guitar. I don't know what you call it, but y'all know what I mean. We're gonna make that. So what you're gonna do is poke two holes and you're actually gonna cut your pipe cleaner in half and stick it through. So they're gonna be two of those tuning things. All right, so all I'm doing is making a ball on the end and there you go, those are the tuners. Our last step is adding the string. So you wanna take your rubber band, you can actually go over it like this if you don't have any tacks. I'm just showing y'all how you could do it. Your strings are gonna be a little lopsided, but you can do this and kids don't care, they'll still play with a guitar. Um, I would secure it with some super, not super, hot glue. <laughs> I would secure it with some hot glue so the strings don't move. But if this is your show, you do your thing. All right, in the words of Tap at the Brown, ain't nobody business. <laughs> but check out we, how I'm gonna do it. Grab your tacks, grab your hot glue gun, go ahead and put a drop of hot glue, and then stick your tack in it and kind of hold it there for a second until it cools so that tack can be secure, kids can't pull it out, anything like that. That's how it should look, okay? You're gonna go ahead and do that six times and then put a rubber band around each tack like you see that I just did. So I'm gonna show you guys again. You're gonna take your tack, you're going to stick it in on, on top of the hot glue so it can dry, let it dry for a little bit so it can get nice and hard. And then you're gonna take your rubber band, you're going to put it over both of the um, tacks that you have and that is how we did it. 
So that is why I told you guys, you didn't really need to cut the inside part out, but I'm actually glad I did because we can actually move our hands freely. So no regrets. <laughs> and guess what guys, you're all done. Thank you for helping us honor the great Chuck Berry, inventor of rock and roll, and sister Rosetta Tharp, who is the godmother of rock and roll as well. So Kimmy is gonna show you how it's done. Hit it, girl. How I wonder what you are. Nice. Up above the world, I Woo. like a diamond in a tie. Hit it. Tangle, twinkle, wiggle, soar. Yeah. How I wonder <laughs> what you are. Before we go, I do want to honor Sister Rosetta Tharp because she definitely paved the way in rock and roll with hits like This Train, Didn't It Rain, Precious Memories, Strange Things Happen Every Day or some of her biggest hits. I know if it wasn't for her, my daughter couldn't even dream of becoming a rock star. And let us not forget about Chuck Berry now. Y'all can't forget about Chuck Berry because he brought us songs like Maybelline, Johnny Be Good, Too Much Monkey Business, and everybody knows this one. Roll over Beethoven, right? <laughs> he was so awesome. The inventor of rock and roll. Watch these moves, y'all. That's talent right there. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, please guys, let's never forget their names. Chuck Berry and Sister Rosetta Tharp. They have paved the way for us musically and thank God for them because we would not be where we are today. So I want to thank you guys so much for sticking around and if you're listening to this message, you're awesome. Please, please tag me to your kids when they create these adorable guitars. I want to see it on Instagram. All my information is in the description box below. Last but not least, please check out part one of our Black History series where we made some stained glass and they were African colors and African inspired. Beautiful, beautiful. You don't want to miss that. So go ahead and check that out now and I will see you guys in part three. Have a good day. Bye.